the diplomatic war between Nigeria and Ghana has once again been reignited following the deportation of about 700 Nigerians on the allegation of cybercrime, prostitution, and illegal stay. This is not the first time that the two black West African nations will be engaging in diplomatic tussles, as in recent past, the Ghanaian government barred Nigerians from carrying out petty businesses in the country. Reacting to the developments, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyama, said in spite of Nigeria's policy of not condoning any form of criminality on the part of its citizens in any part of the world, such inhuman treatment and alleged torture of some Nigerians in Ghana is unacceptable. ECOWAS uh, recognizes the free movement of persons and, uh, you know, and goods and so forth. So, um, so we've been engaging with the Ghanaians, but at the same time, what we tell our Nigerian compatriots is when you go to other people's countries, uh, you have to respect the laws. Uh, you must not engage in acts of criminality. So, um, so there is that balance, and, uh, and we make that point, point clear. And as you saw, with the, in the case of the uh, Nigerian traders, uh, we engage at the very highest level with the government of Ghana. It's all been resolved. So these things just require communication uh, amongst ourselves. The Nigerian government, through its High Commissioner to Ghana, Michael Abikoye, has registered its displeasure over the disheartening incidents. The country is, however, currently engaged in diplomatic dialogue with the Ghanaian authority to forestall future occurrences. Fred Idehai, CNN News.